Here is question 3b, part 2. So I've got our probability table at the top, because we'll need that. Um, and then here's our question b, part 2. And so we're talking about changing the voucher system now. And so they're saying that they want to change it so that the voucher has to be used no more than 10 days after the date of issue. And so then they give us some numbers and they say, well, there's 22% of them, that the vouchers that are received one day after the issue. We've got 35% of the vouchers are received two days after the issue. And the rest of them are, are received three days after that. So they want us to build a model. Okay. And we want to build the model that the voucher is being used no more than 10 days after the date of issue. So let's have a think about what information we have. We know that they're talking about using the vouchers within three days, but the first thing that has to happen, the first decision that's made, and I'm going to do this as a small tree diagram, the first decision is, is that mail received one day within one day, within two days, or within three days? So that's our first decision is does it come one day in the mail, two days th through the mail, or three days through the mail. Okay, so this is looking at our mail. All right, then I can say, well, the probability that it comes within, what will receive one day, there's our 22%, so I'm going to put there as my 0 0.22. Then we've got our 35% of them are received two days after. So I can put these my 0 0.35. And now we need to know the rest are received within three days. So I know all of those three probabilities add to one. So one minus 0.22 minus 0.35 leaves me with 0 0.43. So 43% of them, um, the mail will become three days. Okay, now we need to think about the combination. It's the talks are there about it's got to be no more than 10 days after the issue. So if I have a, it comes in the mail within one day of the date of the issue, that means that the next step is looking at how many days do I have to use the voucher. Okay, so that's our next step is actually using the voucher. So if the the mail comes one day, that leaves me with up to nine days to use the voucher. One plus the nine gives me my ten. So as long as I use the voucher in less than or equal to nine days, that means I will be able to use my voucher. And I'll work out that probability in a moment. Then look at the second possibility. If we get the if it comes within two days that mail arrives, that means 2 plus the 8 is my 10 days that I'm allowed. So if I can work out the probability that x is less than or equal to 8, then the 8 plus the 2 is my 10. And last but not least is my 3 days. If I get it in the mail within 3 days, then I can. that leaves me 7 days with which I need to work out how to use up that voucher. Okay, so what I want to do now is I need to go and work out those individual probabilities. All right, and I'm going to do that on the next page in a moment. But let's, wait, let me just get that set up so we can say what's the probability x is less than or equal to 9. Now there's two ways that I can do it. I could take all of the values that are smaller than or equal to 9. Okay, I've just highlighted those. If I add all of those numbers up, then that would give me my probability. The a way of reversing it to say, well, I know that all of the probabilities add up to one, so if I one do one take away that ten or more days, then that leaves me with everything else. Okay? And I'm gonna just do it that slightly easier way so that I've got less room to make mistakes in my calculation. So I'm gonna do one minus the probability of it happening within 10 days.
So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.532, and that gives me a probability of 0 point, um, where am I, 468. Oh, goodness. Try it again, 468. Okay. So I know that that probability of 9 is 0 0.468. Okay. Now I want to look at the next one, the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. So now I want the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. And again, I can do that by... Let me just rub all that out. Except for that one there. I could do it by saying that I want to add up the probabilities from 1 to 8. Or I could say 1 minus the probability of 9 or 10 and above. And that's going to give me the same answer. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to say 1 minus the probability of 10 and take away the probability of 9. And so that's going to be the value that I've... So 1 minus the 0 0.532, take away 0 0.031, and that leaves me with a probability of 0 0.437. So that's my probability there of 0 0.437. Last but not least, I've got to work out this probability that x is less than or equal to 7. Okay, less than or equal to 7. That's what I'm working out now. And I'm just going to get rid of this. So I can redo this. Okay, so I can say that for 7, I want to do add up all the probabilities that are less than or equal to 7, or 1 take away the probability um, of 8, 9, and 10. So again, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 1 minus the probability of 10, take away the probability of 9, and take away the probability of 8. So that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.532 minus 0 0.031 minus 0 0.018 and that is going to leave me with a probability of 0 0.419 so there's my probability there of 0 0.419 okay so I've worked out the different combinations I've worked out I could have one day in the mail and up to nine days to use it two days in the mail up to eight days to use it three days in the mail, up to seven days to use it. So there's my different combinations. Now I need to put those together to find the probability that they use the voucher in up to 10 days. Okay. So let me jump over to a new one. So I want the probability um, that they use the voucher in less than or equal to 10 days. So that is going to be equal to the probability of the mail arriving within one day being multiplied by the probability that the voucher is used in up to nine days. Then we're going to add to that the probability that arrives in the mail within two um, um, on the second day, two days later, multiplied by the probability that it's used in less than or equal to eight days. Added to that, the chance of it coming, the mail arriving three days later, multiplied by the probability of using it in less than or equal to seven days. Um, and that is going to give us, let's go back and find the numbers that we want. So the probability of arriving with one day is my 0 0.22 times my 0 0.468. So that's my 0 0.22 times the 0 0.468 plus then the probability for 2. 
So there's my 0 0.35 times my 0 0.437. So 0 0.35 times 0 0.437. That's my second combination. Now for the third combination, we're going to do our 0 0.43 times our 0 0.419. So 0 0.43 times my 0 0.419 multiply that all out and that is going to give me a value of 0 0.436 and so the chance that they would use the voucher within 10 days given that they're going to mail it out that probability is 43.6 percent